Hello everybody, it is me again. Before I go any further, I need to state that this is an adult coloring therapy channel. If you're age 18 and under, I kindly ask you to please leave, as this is, like I said, for adult coloring therapy. Thank you. Now, to go on, I am here to do a review of a new uh, Creative Haven coloring book that I have not seen reviewed yet on here. This one I thought was really neat. It's called Dazzling Diners Designs. And I really like this because this is like based on the 50s and 60s, I think. Like what would be considered now mom pop places. But this is the front. And of course it's average size of the small, you know, um, Creative Haven book. There's about 30, 31 pages in here. This is the back. And it's by... Jessica, oh, don't ask me to pronounce this last name, M-A-Z-U-R-K-I-E-W-I-C-Z, -E however that is. We got the first colored page. I'm hoping that my you not, guys are not getting a glare on it. And, of course, these are all one-sided and perforated. Okay. Yep, there's 31 pages in here, okay. I thought these pages would be fun to do either with markers. And if you do use markers, put something behind it because any permanent marker will bleed. And, or gel pens. And I love these because this page, as in my youth, I absolutely adored roller skating. I used to have a pair of roller skates that were white with hot pink neon wheels and it had my name embroidered on it. My aunt and uncle had them made for me. And there's a neat jukebox. I kind of got an idea for that one. This is making me want milkshakes now. I remember when I was little and we would go on vacations, my parents would always look for what they call... Um, what now is called mom and pop places or truck stop places or little diners and they would always get their coffee there. I always said they had the best coffee but of course when I was little I didn't drink coffee. Who doesn't like a banana split? Well I don't like bananas so that would be me. Ah as I've been saying mom's diner. And I swear to God, she puts me a flow, or a, yeah, flow from Alice. You know, the Kiss My Grits girl. And I still remember those old mixers. I had an aunt, a great aunt now, she's long gone, but that had one of these in her kitchen. Hot diggity dog. Blue plate specials. Another one on roller skates. Breakfast all day. That's a me kind of person. I love breakfast any time of the day. Any time of the day. In my old hometown of Leavenworth, Kansas, there used to be, there was two, um, actually three, take it back, three pharmacies in that town that used to, when I was little, which is in the 80s, uh, had soda jerks in them. Now they're long gone, and I thought those places were so neat. Ooh, I could go for a donut right now. grilled cheese. The first thing I ever learned how to cook on my own when I was younger. Root beer floats. But it's got to be from A&W. This one's a cute picture.
try our home style burgers, but I swear to God, that looks like a Big Mac. Time for a delicious and refreshing cola. Last time I saw a pie shelf like that, there is a place in Missouri called Jamesport, Missouri. And they've got a Mennonite restaurant there. Uh, everything is homemade, but they had a pie shelf like this. And of course, theirs rotated. Even better, even better in a la mode. Eat or take out. Oh, Lord, that reminds me of something. Wasn't there a diner that used to be in the shape of a bus? <laughs> you don't know? Okay. Sorry, I was asking my hubby. I could have swore I, there was somewhere, it's got to be where it's tropical, that there was a type of diner that was in the shape of a bus or a subway. Ooh, fizzes. I miss fizzes. I miss these type of places so much. I remember my mom told me she used to wear poodle skirts and those type of shoes and bobby socks. Those type of shoes just... I could, those black and white saddle shoes, they look like they hurt. And that is the end of it. And I will leave a link underneath where to get the book. I got mine off of Amazon. You may find it at Walmart. Don't know. It's been a hit and miss here lately at any Walmart. Because I think they're trying to phase out the adult coloring books. But this is all there is. Be sure to stay tuned for more reviews. Thank you. Have a nice day.